What's happening, everybody? Um, this is my 91 Chevrolet Silverado C1500. As you can see, it don't look like it because it's got an updated grill on it. But um, I wanted to put this video out to try to encourage the ones that's out there that's like in the same shoes I am, trying to both uh, be a hot rodder, using it as a daily driver, and being a work truck. So I know what it's like to to do the shoestring budget deal but um maybe if i sh you know you can check out this video you might be able to do some of the things that i did or maybe do them even better um what i did was did a vortex head swap off of a 99 chevrolet savannah delivery van uh it's got a jags vortex dual plane high-rise intake I had to add a uh, fuel pressure regulator with the bypass in it because I'm still running my uh, electric fuel pump out of the tank. So to keep from doing any damage to the pump, I had to add this regulator and kind of uh, route the hoses accordingly so I can both feed the carburetor. And when, you know, the truck is off, you know, the, the unused fuel can return back to the tank. Uh, HEI distributor. I don't know exactly what size wires they are, but they just, you know, some wires from the parts store. I have the correct spark plugs in it for um, Vortec heads. If you put the other style spark plugs in it, you normally end up either getting the uh, ground strap closed up by hitting the piston because it actually go too far in the head. So just make sure if you do do a Vortec head swap, you put the correct spark plugs in it. It's got some uh, shorter headers on it, uh, two and a half inch dual exhaust uh, I also had to get these brackets to go on there on the carburetor this one is a geometry bracket for the uh, 700R4 with the lock up torque converter which I'm still using and the other one is just a bracket to you know correctly run your your TV cable and your throttle cable it makes it a whole lot easier to, to route things you know when you you know switch into the carburetor setup It's got a uh, Summit K1103 cam in it, hydraulic flat tap it. Uh, I just recently put an X pipe on it. Um, I'm not really sure how I, how I feel about that. It's got the Dynamax Super Turbo mufflers on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, a lot of stuff that I did to this truck, I did little bit by little bit. You know, on the kind of I'm on a budget, wife, kids, blah blah blah, and um, so I, I do things as I can afford to do it. And as you can see, that X pipe is not welded in. What I did was just kind of mocked it up into place um, until I can either learn to weld myself or get someone to do exhaust that can do it exactly the way I need to be done. But um, I'm gonna crank it up and let you guys hear it. It idles a little weird at first because this carburetor that I just put on it doesn't have a choke, electrical or, or a manual. So um, I really had to be on my game tuning it to keep it running. Since I put this other carburetor on here, let me get this radio turned down. Since I put this other carburetor on here, um, it does seem to want to idle at a different place. I had a Holley 600 CFM vacuum secondary carburetor on here that like to be, it like the engine to be idle at around 700 or 750 RPM. And in a way you could hear the cam and then in other ways you couldn't. Um, but when I put this 650 on a uh, double pumper on it, it seems the, the, the love to be out of a little bit lower. So right now it's at 600, 650 uh, RPM. But it runs pretty smooth. You know, it don't pop. And it's got a nice sound to it.
nice throttle response. I hope and pray that this video helps someone that's trying to do the same thing I'm doing and they might think that they don't have the money to do the top-notch stuff. I didn't either, but you know, I found a way to get it done. So hope, hopefully it, it blesses someone that's trying to, you know, do the same thing that I'm trying to do. It's still a work in progress. It's, it's by no means finished. You know, so as I get extra money, you know, other than paying the bills in the house and trying to tend to my kids, um, I, I, I devote it to the truck. So what I'm able to do to it, I do to it when I get a chance to, and you know, everything kind of, every, everything else kind of take a back seat. I don't remember the part numbers to everything that I got, but if anyone needs to know like exactly what I did and what I put in it to try to make it, you know, run like it is or get the, the drivetrain to this point, I'd be more than happy to share with you some information and hope that it'll help you to do what, uh, what you might be trying to do to your vehicle. Everybody be blessed.